Hi, in this short video, we will discuss Peirce model of sign. Peirce is not as popular as Saussure, but his model of sign is no less important than of Saussure's. So the first thing we need to know is that Peirce and Saussure were contemporary. Saussure was working on his model of sign in Switzerland, whereas Peirce was working on his model of sign in America. But before we discuss Peirce model of sign, we need to understand the basic difference between Saussure's model of sign and Peirce model of sign. Saussure's model is dyadic, meaning it has two parts, signifier and signified, whereas Peirce model is triadic, meaning it has three parts, representament, how sign is represented, interpretant, how a sign is interpreted, and object, what is represented. Saussure's model is relational, which means one sign interacts with other sign, whereas in Peirce model, sign is referential and representational. So one sign refers to an object. In Saussure's model, sign is a linguistic sign, whereas in Peirce model, sign can be anything or any form of words, images, sounds, flavors, feelings, acts or objects. Now, before we discuss the Peirce model of sign, it is necessary to understand how it creates a confusion if we do a hurried reading. At one place, Peirce says sign is everything and at other place he says nothing is a sign unless it is interpreted as a sign. You might find an irony in these statements and consider them contradictory. So before we start our discussion on sign, I would like to know what is your understanding of sign. When you open an account or when you mark your attendance, you sign. Now what does that sign represent? Yes, it represents you. Your sign represents you. So if you sign a check and give it to a beneficiary, the bank cashier will interpret your sign as you or your permission to give money to the beneficiary. So your sign signifies you. Purse says a sign is something which stands for something other than itself. Now how come your sign becomes your permission or you because of the cashier? He interprets it in this way. So when Peirce says nothing is a sign unless it is interpreted as a sign, it means the role of an interpreter is important. According to Peirce, sign can be anything or any form of words, images, sounds, flavors, feelings, acts, objects, all are sign. The important thing is someone must interpret it. Considering the importance of signs, Peirce says we think only in signs. Peirce represent a man is similar to signifier and interpretant is similar to signified. An object refers to both physical things and abstract concepts. According to Peirce, sign has three types. For the first type, we again move to the previous example of signing a check. So when you sign a check, your sign as signifier does not resemble you or your permission as signified. And this relationship is arbitrary or purely conventional and established by the banking system. Peers calls it symbolic. But when signifier resembles signified, it is iconic as a photo, a portrait, a cartoon or onomatopoeic sound and alike. And when signifier is directly connected physically or causally to signified, it is indexical as smoke and fire or knock on the door. We will discuss other such concepts in the next video. Thank you for watching.